Hi, hey, hello. Um, I just got back from a pretty busy day. It is Wednesday, and this morning I had a bounce event, which happened at a trampoline park. And then after that, I had a sh photo shoot with Under Armour for a few hours. So I thought this was the perfect time to make a video for you guys because I get asked this all the time. Um, how do I manage my schedule? So I just got back from the event and I have something in my eyeball, so I'm wearing my glasses. So I'm gonna get set up for this video and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna chat. We're gonna chat about how I manage my schedule because you guys all seem very interested in how I do this. Hey Winnie, what'd your schedule consist of today? That's right, sleeping, eating, getting fur all over our furniture. This is our little greenhouse right here. And I do have a laptop set up with my work with my work stuff. While I'm currently in this distracted phase, I went to um, a sport check event a little while ago and they were giving out these sneakers, but they didn't have the ones I wanted in my size and they recently sent them to me. So here they are. These are called Nike Free Focus. At first I thought that was me. <laughs> Um, I don't know if these are gonna be good for working out in or if I'm just gonna wear them to walk around in because like these days You just don't really know You don't I think I have something in my tooth. You don't know if sneakers are like it's still there. You don't know if sneakers are to be worn for working out or if they're to be worn for looking good and just walking around I don't know anymore. So I'll have to give those a test drive and then I'll let you know what I think we built this corner in our home and I was like, it's gonna be a cozy little reading nook and I don't think Adam or I have sat here once <laughs> and read a book. So I guess maybe it's gonna be my new video nook. Also, P.S., what do you guys think about this dope outfit? I'm combining the sports bra with the jean shorts and giving up on life. That's it. I also really like how much room these shorts have in the waist because it makes me feel super slim. Yeah. 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 So, question that all you guys ask me all the time is how do I balance my work life and all my Instagram, social media, blog, fitness stuff as well? For you guys to get an idea of what I do, okay, so I do several things. One, I work a full-time job. Two, I teach fitness classes. Three, I run a blog and an Instagram account and I go to different events uh, throughout the week. Um, four, I do modeling. So I do some sports modeling and fitness stuff. Five, did I say I teach classes? I think I did. So I do, I do a bunch of things. And my daily schedule, Pretty much looks like this. I go to work from eight to four. Um, I'm pretty lucky. I have a really flexible work schedule. So if I wanted to come in at 7:30 and leave at 3:30, I could do that. If I wanted to come in nine till five, I could do that. So I do eight hours, eight to four, leave at four, and I go to the gym for 4:30. Get home for 6 p.m. and cook dinner, do blog stuff, watch TV, read a book, whatever. So I always get asked, how do I manage to get everything done while working? And honestly, it's all just a matter of time management, which is just kind of like the most like useless thing I could say, but here's how I break it down. So modeling jobs, usually they don't come that often. Maybe I'll get one a month and one a month would be quite a lot because I don't do modeling full time. It's just something I do on the side. So if I, I go to maybe two to three castings in a month and usually I'll go on my lunch break. So luckily a lot of castings are held downtown Toronto. So either I can walk there or bike there in the summer or if I need to streetcar or Uber. So I can go to castings on my lunch breaks. If I book a job, I used to have to, Oh, Winston's playing. If I book a job, I used to have to use my vacation days um, to model. 
So in 2016, I didn't use a single vacation day for vacation days. It was either traveling to a photo shoot, doing a photo shoot, traveling back, going to castings. It was going to commercials. It was, it was like, I'm not unhappy I didn't get vacation because I was using it to work and earn money and like better myself. But yeah, it was kind of tough that way. This year, I also have a lot of events that I'm attending and those happen all throughout the week. So I had a talk with my manager at my full-time job and asked him if I would be able to work remotely a couple times a month so I could attend these castings or if I got a job or whatever. And he was really cool about it. And so if you guys are looking to do something similar, talk to your manager and see if what they say because I really wasn't sure if he would agree to it or not. And when I brought it up with him, he was totally okay with it because I work in insurance. Like I don't need to be in the office to work at my job. I can easily just go home, do everything on the internet. I just need a laptop to get into all the systems. I have a bunch, a set of rules. I'm allowed to go twice a month uh, to do like events or jobs and I can't, can't be two days in a row. It has to be two separate days. And I think those are the only rules, which is totally fine with me. So that laptop that you saw earlier, that's me. I wake up, if I have a photo shoot and the call time is until like nine or 10, I'll wake up at 8 a.m., roll out of bed, start working uh, on that laptop till I have to leave and then I'm out the house doing whatever it is I need to be doing. So that's how I manage to do my photo shoots, to manage to go to all the events that I go to. Also keep in mind that a lot of these events, they are only a few hours out of the day. So it's not like I go to events and I'm there from like nine till 5 p.m. It's usually like a few hours. Photo shoots, a little bit different. Sometimes they're one or two full days. And then if that happens, then yes, I'll need to use vacation days. So that's how, that's how I manage to juggle my modeling career and my work career. Now, moving on to workout classes. So right now I teach a workout class at the gym that I work out at, and then I also teach classes outdoors uh, once, one to two times a week. So two to three days a week I'm teaching workout classes, and or I would say that those kind of give me a bit of a time crunch. Like I feel more tightly squeezed with those because they take up a lot of time. It's a full like two hours getting there, setting up all the equipment, doing the workouts, staying around after, saying goodbye to everyone. So those ones I do at night. My class at my gym goes from 7.15 to 8.15. That means that after work, after I do my workout, I'm hanging around downtown waiting for my class to start. It's not like the most ideal thing to do, but in that time I can talk to my mom, go shopping at Bulk Bar, and get like a few errands done in that area that I wouldn't normally get to do. Uh, my workout classes that are held outside again like I managed to get my workout in after work on a Tuesday come back home quickly make a bite to eat and then I'm off again teaching these classes so Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty busy full days for me and I don't get a lot of blog stuff done or Instagram stuff done in that time Wednesdays are my day off day off as in I still go to work but I have no classes that I teach and I don't work out myself. Maybe I'll go for a jog if it's nice, but it's not something I have to commit myself to. Thursday, again, I work out, go, go to work, work out, but nothing in the afternoon. And then Friday, same thing. So on those days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the time that I come home, I reply to a lot of emails, I edit photos, a lot of time, in those afternoons where I'm not teaching or modeling or doing anything else is spent replying to emails and you'd be amazed at how many emails how often they add up and I would say that would probably be the hardest thing to keep on top of because I'm the kind of person who will get an email and I feel like I have to respond to it like this and it's really hard for me to leave it for one even two days like two days is like my max like I need to reply before then so that's like Wednesdays are the day that I normally get that stuff done and the final thing I have to 
incorporate into my schedule is working on blog posts and creating captions and campaigns for Instagram blog posts. Surprisingly, I've gotten to the point where I can pump out a blog post in about an hour, but I have to know exactly what I'm going to say. I actually will write my blog posts when I'm not very busy at work, which is, <laughs> I hope nobody from my work is watching this, but yeah, that's like, I, I can write a blog post in like half an hour, an hour, if it's not a very busy day. And I don't do it often. Like literally an hour out of a week is not a bad thing, especially if I have the idea of what I want to write about or what I want to talk about. The hard part comes in once I've written the blog post is finding photos to go along with the blog post. And those things I have to do on the weekends when it's light out, because a lot of the time I'll finish something but when I come home from work in the winter it's dark so a lot of my weekends are spent making sure that I can get those photos and all the things that supplement the post or the video done at that time I would say that I'm working pretty much from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. every night and although it sounds like a lot all the other stuff doesn't really feel like work I'm building something that I love and that I want to keep working towards and making bigger and better and more successful. So when it when it's something like that that you're passionate about, you'll always find time for it. And I'm so passionate about fitness, I'm passionate about modeling, I'm passionate about working with big brands and like doing campaigns for them and helping spread the words about products that I actually really love. So like most of the things I say, this video will not apply to everyone, it might not apply to you. I realized that I have it really lucky with the job that I'm at, with the manager that I have, the times that I get to work are very accommodating, the job that I have is not so stressful that I can't think of anything else except for work when I'm at work. But never discount the fact that you still have your evenings to get stuff done, you have your weekends. Don't think that your weekends have to be purely dedicated to fun, hanging out with friends, just relaxing. <laughs> My weekends are relaxing, but I also use that time to work on whatever it is that needs to be worked on. So basically it is like working two full-time jobs, but if you're really passionate about it and you really love it, it's totally worth it. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you, give you a little bit of an insight into my life, what my weeks look like, what my days look like. If you want to work a full-time job and you want to do a side hustle or teach classes or whatever it is you want to do, it's fully doable and attainable. Uh, it's just a matter of being organized with your time, knowing what you are willing to sacrifice and going from there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing day. I think the hardest part about working remotely is having to use this old archaic laptop. Nope.